Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how I am bleaching the knots on my frontal. I'm going to use some bleach, red gold corrector plus, and then my mixing utensils. I'm going to use the um, nose mask because the smell just, ugh. And then I'm going to use some gloves. And then let's just talk about the new packaging for Ally Pearl here. It's so cute. They've updated it since my last purchase and I like it. I'm going to open it up and then it comes with the card. Um that has the care instructions and then it comes with a free gift the um, the necklace was okay thank you and then we have the 12 inch frontal and then we have 20 22 and 24 inches of the brazilian body wave here Next, I'm going to show you guys how it looks before. As you can see, you can see the black marks where the knots are tied. So we're just going to try to mask that with the bleach. I'm going to start mixing. I'm going to take my bleach. And I, got, I know you guys are probably like, where the heck is her developer? I use a 40 volume developer. Um, I did use cat pools until it was the consistency that I liked. I didn't want it too runny and um, I made it just thick enough. So then I'm going to add in the Red Gold Corrector Plus. So I know when Ombre in here first got popular everyone's hair who came out actually blonde and not orange and brassy they used this so we're going to use that because that's kind of what we're trying to do with our closure we don't want our frontal to be brassy so we're going to use that so we can bleach it and it comes out perfect <laughs> So once we're finished, I'm going to turn pink like this. It did get a little lighter. And then I'm going to try to dab that on top of the frontal. It was really hard to do this with just the um, paddle brush. So I did go ahead and use a plastic knife because that was way easier than using the mixing brush that it came with. <laughs> As you can see, this way I'm like zooming through, it's way easier. So then I'm gonna turn it over and then check to make sure there's no bleach on any of the hair. And then, so I come back and then this is what we're looking for. This is after 15 minutes. We're looking at it and then we see that there's no more black spots. All of the black spots have lightened, and that's what we're looking for when we talk about bleaching the knots. So then I'm just going to rinse it on off. It was kind of easy to rinse off because it's just thin on top of the lace and it didn't seep through. So we're just going to rinse it on off, wash it up with some shimmer lights. <laughs> So I'm going to go in with my Shimmer Light Shampoo and this is going to help further um, take away that brassiness that comes when bleaching hair because it is a purple shampoo. So I'm making sure I'm getting a good lather on there. I want to make sure that I'm cleansing it really well and making sure that there's no more bleach on the hair. And I also want to make sure that I'm taking that time so it is still masking that brassiness look. We don't want it to look brassy at all. <laughs>
Now, once I'm finished, I'm going to go in with my Joyco K-Pack Color Therapy. I got this from TJ Maxx for about eight bucks. And then this is what it's looking like once it's finished. And as you can see, no overbleached knots and it's not brassy. <laughs> Now here I can really tell not to just dry what it's looking like. I'm so excited that I got it right. My first bleaching knot attempt was a fail, so it feels good to finally get it right. Okay, so as I can put it in the air, you guys can see that there isn't any over bleached knots. You can see through it. You don't see any black knots, and it looks really, really good. I haven't decided what look I'm going to do with this hair, which is why I haven't done a full review on the hair yet. I'm just uh, open to su suggestions if you guys have any ideas what kind of style to do with this hair. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!